Sent on the way from the 2000 meter marker, Kalinski's one of the trailers early on along with Fangio. Settling down to race, Principate, that's in the green, near the rail, first apostle, black silks of sky fire, attic viewers on the outside of runners, south paws near the rail, Harrington's about five lengths off the leader at this stage, they are followed by Kalinski, improves along the inside, then comes Goldings, Further back in the field is Enchanted Drawing. On the outside of that is Variety Romp. That gives him about eight or nine lengths start. And then comes Courageous King. Star of Caesars on the outside of runners. Then comes Zen Zero. Behind that is Chili Affair. Willow Grange and Fangia. They're the last two. About 15, 16 lengths from top to tail as Skyfire takes them to the 1,000 meter marker. Skyfire is the leader. Attic View, First Apostle, Principate. Variety two rompers on the outside. Zen Zero's now been let rip. Has gone wide out and starts to improve position. Then South Paw. Haddington is mid-division. Start Caesars on the outside. They are followed further back by Kalinski. Then comes Enchanted Drawing Chili Affair. Along the inside of that one is Courageous King. That race is about eight or nine lengths off the leader at this stage. Fangio's further back in the run. Bow to be homeward bound now with just over 600 metres to go. Attic View, Principate, Sky Fire, Zen Zero's on the outside, then Variety Romp, South Paw, First Apostle, Goldings, then Star of Caesar, Kalinsky's on the inside, Chili Affair comes out, then behind that one, Goldings, they ride across the track, coming to the 300, Attic View, Haddington's a big runner, Haddington comes good now, Chili Affair the outside, Side. A lot of runners need some running room. Star of Caesar towards the inside. First Apostle. Skyfire. Chili Affair. Fangio's running on strongly on the outside. First Apostle. Chili Affair. It gets close. Chili Affair won it. Fangio second. Enchanted Drawing is involved with Harrington. Well, a race with a lot of scrimmaging, a lot of horses needed some running room in the latter stages, but it's number eight, Chili Affair, and Chili Affair comes from well off the pace, Dennis Schwartz for Allison Wright, Hollywood Syndicate, and records its second win from 16, just wins it, Fangia runs second, close for third, Enchanted Drawing is involved with Haddington on the inside, then first Apostle Star Caesar, and variety romp as you can see with the first seven horses only three lengths covering them and then goldings further back was attic view principate sky fire and then south paw and willow grange well look at that head on you'll see a lot of horses needed some running room look how tight it gets and the winner is on the extreme right hand side and that's chili affair so chili affair uh, look at them, a lot of them, Star of Seas or Variety Romp, they all needed running room, Kalinsky also, Goldings, and uh, victory though is for Chile Affair. So number 8 wins it at 11.40 and 2.50, the toad favourite was number 9, that's all for the time being, until Friday night, Craig Peters signing off. Ending off the meeting on a high is number eight, Chili Affair, the six-year-old Western Winter from the Allison Wright stable for the Hollywood Syndicate, Owen Heffer. Allison Wright's going to join us in the winner's box, and she screamed at horse, I believe, so well done to you. It was one of those open-looking races, and we saw coming to the last 300, just needed some luck. Yeah, Sheldon, you know, I said to um, Dennis just to ride in the same as last time, give him a chance, and hopefully he'll be running on. And uh, yeah, they went quite slowly, so he pulled out wide, which at the time I was like, oh my gosh, Kevin will kill him if he sees this, but <laughs> turned out to be the right move. And then coming up the straight, I thought he wasn't going to get a run, you know, and I believe um, other horses, you know, were unlucky. So just a great ride to, uh, from Dennis, and you know, he works really hard for us in the morning, so really appreciate it and glad we could give him a win again. We'll scream him home again. 
Yeah, and just uh, well done to the Hollywood guys. Um, Kevin's actually uh, with Owen and a, and a whole lot of Hollywood guys um, in the USA, gone to the Breeders' Cup and then five days in Vegas. So I hope they enjoy. <laughs> and uh, well done to the team at home and again to Hollywood um, for their sponsorship. And uh, well done to the Road and Turners for the breeding of him. Well done, Alison. Right, Dennis Schwartz going to step in. He's produced the goods. Now, the tempo looked half decent, but turning for home, they started to stack up. Yes, um, they were going quite slow for my liking and for his liking as well. He's quite a big horse, big stride and everything. And um, uh, yeah, he ran a great race. Tell us how things worked out the last 300. Alison said you had to go around early. Yes, um, Brandon also told me to go out as soon as possible. And um, I decided to do that and it worked out beautifully for me. He just kept on finding and once I got past Eddington, I thought, this is it. When the news arrives to the USA, the party's going to be big. There was early anti-post support, so well done to the team. Yes, uh, big thanks to Mrs. Wright and Mr. Wright. Uh, they're supporting me a lot and um, well done to them. They're having a fabulous season so far. And um, big thanks to the owner, Mr. Van Heffer, and the Ole Syndicate. Well done. Thank you, sir. And a big thanks to the Academy as well for their support. Dennis Schwartz producing the goods in the lucky lot. It's been a testing afternoon for a number, but number eight, Chili Affair, the Western winter, gets up in the closing stages. One or two hard luck stories. That's a wrap. Safe trip home. Busy weekend ahead. We'll catch you on Friday evening.